Dear friends, a good morning to all of you and welcome to our Morning Blessing program. We are just starting a new week and we want to start the week in the right way. And what is the right way to start a week is when we understand that we depend on God for everything. This program brings to you that understanding. The testimonies that we show to you here um, uh, brings that conscience to all of us because usually when people, they come to the UCKG Help Center, they come hopeless, they come uh, 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 burdened, they come, some of the times they even come with suicidal thoughts because life has become meaningless for them. And they don't see a way out for their problems, their issues, their suffering. They don't see how can they stop suffering. However, once they start to take part of the services, they start to learn how to use their faith. And now you are there watching us and I don't know which problems you are going through. I don't know exactly what is going on inside of you what, how many things and what things you've tried to, uh, you've done trying to put an end, to stop that suffering in your life. And, but I think, I'm sure that nothing worked for you. And you know why? It's not because there is not a way out. It's because only God can help you with that. Only Him can bring the solution for you. And that's the reason why we are here, to pray for you, help you uh, through the prayer that we will do here in the program in a few minutes, which you can take part, and I advise you to take part of that prayer because it will make you feel better. It will uh, uh, remove from you that burden that you feel. And also, you will watch that testimony, a testimony that will show to you that it's possible for you to stop suffering as well, just like that person did. This is our helpline number, the one that you see now being displayed. And you can call us at any time, any moment, okay? You may uh, send a message if you, if you prefer to send a text message, an audio message to our WhatsApp or give us a call, okay? We have now pastors, men of God, uh, to take your call and talk to you and listen to your problems, to your situation, advise you and also pray for you. If you want to help someone that is going through problems, send to that person the link of this program right now. Without faith, I wouldn't be where I am today because using my faith gave me strength, confidence and assurance my life at this moment is with peace. My marriage is blessed. My career is moving on. My health is getting better. Everything around me is peace. My life started transforming in 2018. And since then, I've never looked back because I've used my faith in all things that I do. And it has helped me to be where I am today. Before, my life was really bad. I wasn't at peace. I was having so many issues, complexes. I lost my dad first and in three months time I lost my son. At that point I was at a breaking point. Because I was having issues in my marriage, it affected my health as well. So every day I was in hospital. If I'm not in hospital, I was taking medication. I was in my own house. I'm, I wasn't at peace. I was scared of the abuse I was having. It's made me worried because my children were observing it as well. I found out the Universal Church through um, a pastor evangelizing me. There was an event which I was invited. And since the day I entered the branch, which is Plasto, I've never looked back. Me being Universal is an amazing thing because you are being welcome, looked after, no one is judging you. They understand where you are coming from and all they want to do is to help you to come out of what 
you've been and also one thing about they let you come out of your comfort zone they show you how to put your faith into practice and one of the most amazing thing which i like about universal is the what the holy spirit can do to, do in your life the transformation the holy spirit can give you the process of using my faith properly in the beginning it was really hard example was at home because i was going through um, marital problems and abuse i thought it would stop then and then but i could remember one day i told god God take control of this situation then it happened immediately this is where i saw that using your faith and trusting god which is the most important thing it happened i've been able to help people uh, by um speaking to them making sure they understand how they are feeling and instead of putting trusting in themselves or others they should put their trust in God and have faith in God because the transformation that they will have in their lives when they have salvation because with with salvation God is available to them for them to be transformed by knowing him more better as you can see now through all the processes i went through with my faith i don't have any grudges towards anyone even though i went through abuse and everything i was able to forgive i had a transformation in my life the inner peace which is in me made me who i am today and also i've been able to achieve so many things which if i didn't had that faith the trust and one most important thing was being obedient to the holy spirit i wouldn't have achieved what i would have achieved now today i am a living testimony for his glory just as god works with faith the devil works with doubt Doubt is the main weapon of hell to weaken and destabilize people all over the world. We are bombarded daily by voices that come at us from all sides, with most carrying that invisible poison of doubt. What we have observed is that those who drink from this poison offered by the kingdom of darkness end up becoming insecure and terrified the voice to whom we give ear will dictate our actions and reactions. The Japanese scientist and researcher Masaru Emoto, in one of his most intriguing experiments, proved that words have the power to physically influence everything that exists. Emoto placed three servings of cooked rice in three different glass beakers, then covered them with water. Every day he would say, thank you, I love you, to one of the beakers. I hate you, you were a fool, to the second one. And the third, he ignored completely. After a month, the result was surprising. The rice that received the kind words began to ferment, giving off a pleasant aroma. The rice in the second beaker, which received the negative words, became completely dark and rotten. And the third one, which was ignored, began to mold. Surely, this is thought-provoking. If a word caused such an effect with rice, can you imagine what this can do within a person? This is why we often see so many people overwhelmed by panic and fear, all because of a word they heard in one moment. Is it possible for a person to have peace when they have doubts? The only formula capable of shielding your faith is not listening to what might weaken you. Instead, Feed yourself with the word that comes from God, as this generates certainty, conviction and strength. Consequently, even when facing a difficult period, you will not be shaken because this will sustain you in any situation. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. 
only those who are in him will overcome like he did. From now on, give ear more to the voice of faith, because while the others pull you down, this one lifts you up. And when we watch testimonies, we always think there are no limits. There are no limits to God. There are no limits to the power of God. There are no limits to faith. And faith is there inside of you. I'm sure I can see you. I don't know who you are, where you are, but faith is there inside of you because it's something that God gave to all human beings. However, there are other things called doubts and doubts, they usually neutralize faith because doubts, they are, we could say the enemy of faith. You know, there is a, a, a passage in the word of God of a man, a father, who was desperately seeking for help, searching for help. And then he came to the disciples of the Lord Jesus and he brought his child, which was being tormented by an evil spirit for several years. And the disciples tried to help the man delivering his son, but from the spirit, they were unable to do it. And then the Lord Jesus came and the man brought his child to the Lord Jesus. And it is written like this, that Jesus asked the man, how long has this been happening to him? And he said from childhood and often he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. You see, this man, besides suffering and all those years, searching for a solution for his son, he did not lost his faith, but he had doubts inside of him. That's why he said, if you can do anything. He was talking to Jesus. Like sometimes you say to him, oh Lord, I'm going through this situation, but please, if you can do something to help me. It's not that you do not believe that God can do. It's just that you have doubts there inside of you. And then the Lord Jesus told to the man, if you, if you can believe, it's not that if I can do something, it's more than if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. So he believed, but he also had doubts. And most probably that is what is happening to you. You believe, but sometimes you have doubts. You believe that God can heal you from that cancer, but sometimes you have doubts if that will happen or not, how long it will take for him to heal you from that. You believe that God can deliver your family from all those issues and arguments and everything that is happening, addictions, but sometimes you have doubts about your marriage, about many things. But doubts, and this is the point, doubts cannot stop you to come to Jesus. You see, that man, he had some doubts regarding his son's deliverance. But his doubts did not stop him to come to Jesus. He came to him because he knew that only him could do something. So you know that he can change your life. You know that Jesus can heal you. You know that he can transform your family. You know that he can make you stop suffering. So you, you need to come to him. Even if you say, but how will that be possible? How will he heal me? How God will transform my family? How long it will take? You may have many questions, many doubts but you must come to him. You must come to him 
Because once you are in His presence, my dear friends, you will see that doubts will be removed from you. Doubts will be removed from your mind, from your heart. And you will find in faith the solution, the miracle, the power of God. I would like to make a prayer for all of you. I will give you a few minutes. We'll play a beautiful song. Uh, afterwards, I will come with this prayer for those who want to receive strength and help. Jesus Christ, my Lord, I see your light is shining on me, and your eyes over me come to confirm. out your hands over me and all my heart I'll give to you you are my Lord you are my Savior in my Stretch out your hands over me and all my heart I'll give to you. You are my Lord, you are my Savior. In my king. When we pray to God, we can receive strength, courage, faith, peace and anything we sincerely ask for. Take advantage of this moment, close your eyes, and raise your thoughts to God. It's time to pray. Dear Lord and Father, and we now stand bef uh, before your presence. We are now here before your eyes. Even we, we cannot see you, but we know that you can see us. And you can see the bitterness of heart of this woman. You can see, my Lord affliction of this man that some days when they wake up in the morning they don't have pleasure they don't have joy they just they would just rather to keep sleeping because there is there are no reasons for them to wake up and to get out of the beds and leave because they they are empty they are completely lost in life they've tried many things 
to uh, um, quit smoking. They've tried many pills and treatments, uh, painkillers. They've tried um, many things to see if they could have peace inside of them. But nothing worked. Nothing, nothing worked to them. But I am sure that now, through this prayer, your power can come upon them and remove that bitterness of heart. Remove that pain they are feeling right now. Remove that torment from their minds, the torment from their hearts, and make them free from that. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in His name, we remove all that burden from this person. Be free, my friend, from those suicidal thoughts. Be free now from that deep sadness. Be free from that sadness now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bless you by faith. And if you believe, you may say these words with me, Lord God, you are my solution. You are my life. Only from you I receive all that I need. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Look, I don't know exactly what you are going through, but I can assure you that God heard our voice. I have no doubts regarding that. He heard our voice. He heard our prayer right there where you are. He heard your voice. Now it's time for you to give a step of faith and courage and show to him that you really want his help like this man did to help his child. He came with his child and he brought his child to Jesus. Like you saw the testimony and like many people, they always come to the house of God so they can receive from him the help that they need. So this Friday, especially, we are going to make this, like always, every Friday. In fact, we do the deliverance prayer, but I would like you to make this Friday special for you. Perhaps it's going to be the first Friday that you will come to the UCKG Help Center, but it will be the Friday, the beginning for you to stop suffer. You can bring with you a rose if you want, because we are putting uh, uh, the drop of the blessed oil consecrated at the foot of the Mount Sinai. We put a drop of that oil on the roses every Friday. So you may bring a rose together with you to receive that anointing, so that rose shall represent the mighty hand of God wherever you take it with you, to your household, to your relative's house, to your business, to your workplace, wherever you, you, you see there is a negative influence, there is envy, there are evil spirits causing problems, sufferings in your life, you will take that rose together with you. Like I said, the rose will represent the mighty hand of God because it will be anointed with that oil, the holy oil, and we will pray for that to, to happen. So this Friday, 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7.30 p.m. You choose the time that it's best for you to join us and see, like I said, it's going to be special for you because it will be the beginning of the end of your suffering. And then you may see, you may say, I stopped suffering. And be prepared because 
Sunday will be the day that we have been announcing here as the first, for first time, we are going to give the blessed water from, that came from the Mount Sinai, that holy place where the bishops, when they consecrate the oil, they also consecrated the water. And we received from that water and we mixed with water from here. And we are going to give to all of you a little bit of that water. All you have to do is bring with you a bottle, a small bottle with water on the 25th Sunday, 9.30 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. or 3 p.m. or 5 p.m. Choose your time. But don't miss this opportunity to receive for first time that blessed water, the, the drop of miracle, and you will use it with faith. It all, it is all by faith, dear friends, all by faith. So it's time for you to use that powerful tool that is inside of you. If you need any information, well, we have our website, UCKG dot org dot au where you can find the addresses to all our locations where you can find the helpline number the online pastor our email as well so all the informations are there our timetable for the week every day monday to monday the church the doors of the church are open and we have daily services four times each day here, our church in Liverpool is located at 153 Northumberland Street. 153 Northumberland Street, in front of the Liverpool Plaza, close to the Westfield Shopping Center. May God bless all of you abundantly tomorrow. Again, we'll be here with the Morning Blessing Program. Bye-bye.